Somebody excited to be here and thank me. Oh, Makate Shikeli Kalaba Lisholia Baba. Oh, Vekete Lakote Liaba. We thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you for bringing us here again this morning. Oh, on this divine favor banquet service. Somebody thank him for the privilege. Oh, I couldn't stop you to be here. Lord brought you here for Easter. For a reason today. Kwa kusudi. Oh, you say, have I called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain? Have I called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain? Lord, we thank you, we thank Wana you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you. Oh, yakataka teke teke to laba la kita liaba. Shuaki ato shaki ba liaba. Is somebody thanking him? Is somebody shukuru, giving him all the glory? Shukuru, we thank you shukuru, for this day. Thank you for all leo. you have done. Somebody excited, give him all the glory. Hosanna in the highest. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none to compare with you. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna.
Somebody shout a louder amen. Psalm 106 verse 4. And you will stand on that scripture this morning to pray in this faithful banquet service. The psalm is prayed to God one day. He said, remember me, O Lord, with, with the favor that that be unto your people. Visit me with thy service. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor. In this covenant, in this divine favor banquet service. I want you to lift up your voice and say to your father, remember me Lord, with your favor that you will be able to your people. Visit me in this service to represent me. Remember me in your favor. Let this service answer in my life today. Lord, cause me to experience financial favor. Cause me to experience marital favor. Cause me to experience He said, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. That it shall come to pass. When you go, you will not go into today. God will give you favor today. I'm not hearing a faithful amen. I said, God will give you favor today. I'm not hearing a loud amen. Amen. I pray for you this morning that this service will answer in your life. Did you know me chapter 37 verse 27? Moses was blessing the people and he said, and of Nephali he said, oh Nephali, your name can be changed there. Certify with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord. For Satan and the winds and the south. And after you reach the father, you will be able to get the power of the Lord. You shall be satisfied with favor today. And you shall be full of the blessing of the Lord. And you shall be full of the blessing of the Lord. And you shall be full of the blessing of the Lord. Welcome to your season of favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me welcome you to your neighbor to the left and your right. Tell your neighbor you are welcome to the service today. Praise God. Have your seat in his presence. Thank God you made it. 
Shukuru Mungu umekuja. It has been a very week since last Sunday ya mvua tangu Jumapili iliyopita mpaka leo. Almost every day. Karibu kila siku. Every day not almost every kila day Jabiweni. Kila siku mvua imenyesha. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. We thank God that you are here today despite the rain. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwamba umekuja bila kujaribu. And I know others are coming on the way and others are coming for second service. Wengine wanakuja wako njiani, wengine wanakuja ibada ya pili. But it is not by mistake that you are here today. Lakini sio kimakosa kwa kuna kitu Mungu anacho kwa ajili yako na hautakikosa our prophetic focus is divine guardians get away tamko letu lakini nabii nasema to the world of exploits uongozi wa kiungu ndio lango kuu kutopeleka katika ulimwengu wa matendo makuu the world of exploits ndio lango kuu kutopeleka katika matendo makuu hallelujah hallelujah and our scripture of text andiko letu for this month is la mwezi huu ni Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 9 to Let me begin there this morning. Let's read that scripture very For well. the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the Lord of his heritage. And he found him. Please the the next verse he found him in a desert land alimkuta katika nchi ya ukame and in the west holy wilderness na katika jangwa tupu litishalo he led him about ngeza anasema akamuongoza he instructed him and kept him as the apple of his eyes akamuhifadhi kama mboni ya jicho lake and as an eagle stir up her nest mfano wa tai atahayarikishaye mkiota chake over her young na kupapatika juu ya makinda yake alikunjua mbawa zake akawatoa akawachukua juu ya mbawa zake Bwana peke yake alimuongoza wala hapakuwa na Mungu mgeni pamoja naye 13 akampandisha mahali pa nchi palipo inuka kwa sababu Mungu alimuongoza akamfanya apande mahali pa juu ili apate kuyapata akala mazao ya mashamba akamnyonyesha asali iliyotoka katika jabari na mafuta iliyotoka katika mwamba wa gumegume haza haleluya our teaching this month is titled somo letu mwezi huu nasema engaging the breakthrough power of divine guardians kutumia nguvu ya mpenyo ya uongozi wa kiungu engaging the breakthrough power kutumia kutendea kazi nguvu ya mpenyo ya uongozi wa kiungo This is part 1A Sehemu ya kwanza A From this scripture you could see the power of divine guardians Kutoka kwenye andiko hili unaona nguvu ya uongozi wa kiungo What divine guardians can do in the life of a believer Kile ambacho uongozi wa kiungo unaweza kufanya kwenye maisha ya mwamini I want you to understand that divine guardians is a highway to your high place Nataka uelewe kwamba uongozi wa kiungo ndio utakao kupeleka mahali pa juu It is divine guardians that makes the journey of life great Ni uongozi wa kiungo unaofanya safari ya mtu kuwa kuu Your journey to your destiny will be tough Safari yako kwenye hatima yako itakuwa ngumu pasipo kuongozwa na Mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. It is divine guidance. Ni ule uongozi wa kiungu. That makes you to win without sweat. Ndio utakao kufanya ushinde bila kutoka jasho. It is divine guidance that makes you a more than a conqueror. Ni uongozi wa kiungu na kufanya kuwa zaidi ya mshindi. In Psalm 27 verse 1 to 5 you could see Zaburi 23:1 mpaka 5 the power of divine guidance Unaweza kuona nguvu ya mpenyo ya uongozi wa Mungu 23:1 to 6 23:1 mpaka 6 anasema Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu Sitapungukiwa na kitu He make me to lie down in green pastures Katika malisho ya majani ya mabichi unilaza Kando ya maji ya utulivu uniongoza He restore my soul Uniuishe na nafsi yangu He made me in the path of my Katika njia za haki kwa ajili ya jina lake. Yeah, 
I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For that at which me, thy Lord and thy servant will comfort me. That prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That anointed my head with oil and my cup run it over. Surely. Because God is the one guiding. It is not whether it will happen. It is surely. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will be in church every time I rejoice and testify. This is a typical example of what happened in a life being guided by God. Somebody shout hallelujah. When you guide yourself, you will miss it on the ground. Man is limited as a human being. Man is limited. In fact, God's servant said, your mind is too poor to be followed. That is why we will always need divine guidance. That is why we will always need God to direct us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because every step you take, Every step you take now, either takes you forward or backward. Every step you take now, either takes you forward or backward. Many have rushed into certain open doors. Only to discover that we are thrives. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, the Bible said there is a way that seemed right. Unto a man, at the end is the way of death. He said in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25, there is a way that seemed right. Unto a man, at the end there is the way of death. Not every open door is God's door. 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 Open doors are temptation personified. That is why you must be guided. When God leads you, you will not be behind in life. When God leads you, no mistake in life. No mistake in life. Because He knows the end from the beginning. That is why we must subscribe. To divine guidance. Permit me as I interchange that word divine guidance with divine leading. Niruhusu takapo kwa na kitumia maneno haya mchanganyiko uongozi kuelekezwa. And also with divine direction, they mean the same. Na pia muongozo wa kiungu kuelekezwa kwe muongozo na mungu. We need to be directed. Lazima uongozo na mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz hallelujah. God promised to bless us. Mungu ameahidi kutubariki. And also promised to lead us to the blessing. Lakini pia ametuahidi kutupeleka kwenye baraka. The profit you desire is tied to his name. Faida unayotaka iko kwenye ule uongozi wake. You know, in Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17. Isaiah albana nane kumina saba anasema. The Lord. Mimi dimi buwani. The Holy One of Israel. Takatifu wa Israel. And he said the Redeemer. Mkombozu wako. Which teached you to profit. Ni kufundishae ili upate faida. And leaded you by the way that that's true. There is a way to go. Ni kuongozae kwa njia iku pasaya kuifuata. Iko njia na upaswa kuifuata. And you don't know you no matter how intelligent you are. Na haijarishi unakili vipi huijui. Even though you know you, you don't know the danger on the way. Hata kama unayijua huijui hatari ilioko njiani. That is why you need to be directed. Dio mana yeye lazima akuongoze. That is why you must subscribe to his divine guidance. Dio mana lazima ukubali uongozi wake. Because he knows everything. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Many challenges of life as a result of not being guided by God. Many have died because they didn't hearken to divine guidance. Many have died because they 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 have died Siku mwenye ni kambia mtu flani sio kila mahali ambapo na kuaribisha wewe. And it is not everywhere that is job opportunity that is meant for you. Na sio kila mahali ambapo sikia nafasi nafasi ya kazi ni yako. Many people have got certain job. Wengi wamefanya wameenda kama kazi. Certain appointment. Wamepata kazi. 
within one month their family is destroyed. Ndani ya mwezi mmoja nyumba imeparanganyika. The devil have organized uh, a devil there to destroy. Kwa shetani alishaweka pale ibilisi wa kuharibu nyumba na familia yake. Many people have been led by the God of God. Leo wengi wanaongozwa na Mungu wa mali na dhahabu. You know we have read in Deuteronomy chapter 32. Tuliposoma pale kumbukumbu la Torati 32 verse 12. Mstari wa 12. The Bible said the Lord alone lead them. Anasema Bwana peke yake alimuongoza. No strange God with them. Hakukua na Mungu mgeni pamoja naye. God alone is leading people. Mungu wa pesa na dhahabu ndio anayeongoza watu. Because of how much how much are they paying? Yeye yuko radhi kwenda kokote kwa sababu atapokea shingaki. Bila kujali Mungu anasemaje kuhusiana na hapo. Many people have, have destroyed their destiny because they are looking at what we man say. Wengi wameharibu hatima zao kwa sababu anajiuliza watasemaje? Watasemaje? God is saying this is not a travel trip. Hata pale Mungu anapokuambia usisafiri safari. If many people who have died can wake up kama wale wengi waliokufa wangeamka you find that majority of them involved in accident or one mishap or the other majority of them tell them something was telling me not to go wengi wao kiwauliza waliopata ajali wakafa watakwambia kuna kitu kilikuwa kinaniambia nisiende lakini kaenda na wakafa lakini hawakusikiliza wakasikiliza sauti ya miili yao na kuharibu hatima zao hatima yako haitaharibiwa the subject of divine guidance is so important somo la uongozi wa kiungu ni muhimu sana na iliyopita nikasema moja kitu hazina ya huruma hii ni katika kukubali na kufuata uongozi wa Kiungu. Tunamsemwa hapa kwamba hatufanyi chochote mpaka kimeamriwa toka juu. Hatufanyi chochote mpaka kiwe kimeamriwa na Mungu. Wakristo wengi wanaishi maisha yao kivyovyote vyovyote. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza haleluya. Please subscribe to his leading you will never regret it. Tafadhali kubali uongozi wake hautajuta maishani. The greatest secret of David was. Siri kubwa ya Daudi ilikuwa ni kuongozwa. Every point in life Lord what are you saying? Kila mahali alipofika Bwana niende. Should I overtake them? Nitawapita. Will I recover all? Nitashinda. He knows how to pray prayer of inquiry. Alikuwa anajua kuomba maombi ya kuuliza. He knows how to hack into the voice. Alijua namna kusikiliza uongozi wa kiungu. That's why he fought Ndiyo maana alipigana vita 66 na alishinda zote. People of God divine guardians. Watu wa Mungu uongozi wa kiungu is the gateway to a world of exploits. Ndiyo lango litakalokupeleka katika mafanikio na matendo makubwa. God guides you he goes with you. Mungu akikuongoza anaenda na wewe. God guides you he walk with you. Mungu akiongoza anaenda anatembea na wewe. Anatenda kazi kwa ajili yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know God give vision at the same time give direction. Mungu anatoa maono lakini pia anakupa mwongozo. No matter how powerful is the vision. Haijalisha maono ni makubwa na nguvu. Vision you will miss it. Pasipo uongozi utakosea tu. Vision is all about destination. Maono ni kile alichokukusudia. Vision shows you where you are going. Maono yanakuonyesha unakwenda wapi. But the divine guidance lakini uongozi wa kiungu unakuongoza mchakato wa namna ya kufika pale namna ya kufika pale hiyo ndio tofauti kati ya uongozi wa kiungu na maono God have told you this is where you are going Mungu amekuonyesha unakwenda huku katika maisha. This is your destination. Hapa ndipo nilicho kukusudia wewe. Uongozi wa kiungu unakupeleka kule ulikokusudiwa. Kama mwanadamu unapokwenda mahali ambapo hukujui. You need to ask question. Lazima uulize maswali. Now you can use GPS. Unaweza kutumia GPS. The Holy Ghost is our Spiritual GPS. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu ndio GPS yetu ya kiroho. Anajua kila kitu. Even the word GPS cannot detect. Hata vile ambavyo GPS haiwezi kutambua. But the Holy Ghost knows it. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu anajua vyote. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. Thank God for that vision, but have you subscribed to divine direction? Namshukuru Mungu kwa hayo maono, lakini je, vipi kuhusu na uongozi wa kiroho? You know that 8 years ago vision was given to this commission. Miaka 38 iliyopita maono yalitolewa kwenye huduma hii. You know, a natural man will say, oh God have said the hour have come uh, to liberate the world from all oppression of the devil through the preaching of the word of faith. I am saying. Tu kawaida angesema tu saa imefika kukomboa ulimwengu kupitia kurubi neno la imani na naikutuma ni wewe. You know in that vision 
in that vision. Katika hayo maono. God never said Bishop Edward go and start a church and don't start a church. Mungu hakumwambia Askofu Ede po kaanzishe kanisa au usianzishe kanisa. But you have to go back to God. What are you saying? Lakini ilibidi amrudie Mungu unasemaje? Even every vision have an appointed place. Kila maono pia yana mahali maalum. Where do I start? Akamuuliza wapi naanzia? He has a plan. Ana mpango to start the ministry and everything have been concluded to start it in just Wa kuanzisha huduma na tayari mipango yote ya kuanzisha tayarisha kukamilika. No. Mungu akamwambia hapana. You are going to Damascus. Hautaenda Jos, unaenda which, Damascus. Which represent Kaduna. Ambapo anamaanisha huo mji unaitwa Kaduna. Diversion. Uongozi. The exploit of this commission is rooted in in diversion. Mlipuko wa huduma hii uko sambamba na uongozi wa kiungo. When the time comes to move Ukifika wakati wa kuondoka Ulipofika wakati wa kuondoka akamwambia ondoka nenda Lagos akaondoka Amekuwa akifuata uongozi wa kiungo ambao unafanya mambo yafanikiwe hapa Jifunze kutoka kwenye huduma hii Somebody shout hallelujah Kwanza hallelujah God what are you saying in terms of because if God have called you I want you to start a ministry here. Kwa sababu Mungu kama amekuita na anataka uanzishe huduma. Uanzishe biashara. And you feel that America is a place. Alafu wewe ukadhani kwamba inafanikiwa zaidi Marekani. You go to America. Ukaenda kule Marekani. God will not go to America with you. Mungu hataenda na wewe kule. And you'll be frustrated. Na utachanganyikiwa. And that's the reason somebody can be in US and be useless. Na ndio maana sababu mtu anaweza kuwa Marekani na akawa hana maana. Somebody can be in UK and not okay. Mtu anaweza kuwa Uingereza lakini hana na shida tele kwa sababu unapojiongoza mwenyewe unaingia kwenye michanganyiko na mahangaiko popote ambapo Mungu anakupeleka tayari anakungoja pale na mambo yatafanikiwa kwako haza haleluya siasikia haleluya siasikia haleluya siasikia haleluya But what is divine guidance? Wa kiungu ni nini? Divine guidance simply means following the ways of God. Uongozi wa kiungu maana yake ni kuzifuata njia za Mungu. Following the ways of God. Ni kuzifuata njia za Mungu. We serve a God that, of, that have ways. Tunamtumikia Mungu mwenye njia. Isaiah 55 verse 9. Isaiah 55:9. The Bible say as the heaven is far above. Kama mbingu zilivyo juu sana. <laughs> As the heaven are higher than the earth. Kama ambavyo mbingu ziko juu sana. So are my ways higher than your ways. Ndivyo njia zangu zilivyo juu kuliko njia zangu. God is a God of ways. Huyu Mungu tunayemtumikia ni Mungu mwenye njia. That follow his ways. Na wanaofuata njia zake. And those that will cause ways on the earth. Those that follow his ways. Wanaofuata njia zake. And those that will command exploits. Ndio atakao mulu mapendo. Because his ways are higher. Njia zake zijuu than what any man can think of. Kuliko chochote mwanadamu anachoweza kufikiri. Following the ways of Kuzifuata njia za Mungu. It can save you from business. Inaweza kukuokoa hata katika biashara. It can save you from loss in business. Inaweza kukuokoa kwenye hasara. It can hasara. save you even to marry a wrong person. Hata inaweza kuokoa kuoa mtu asiye. Many marriages are fair because people are led by outward appearance. Ndoa nyingi zimesambaratika kwa sababu mtu anaongozwa na muonekano wa nje. Anapumbazwa na mwili au ile figa ya mtu. As against God's will for marriage. Kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu. People don't sit down now to pray, Lord, what are you saying? Siku hizi watu hawakai na kuuliza Mungu unasemaje? Yeye anachotaka tu ni vitu. Marriage is consummated this month. Next month it, it a break up. Ndoa imefungwa mwezi huu mwezi ujao imesambaratika kwa sababu Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 If you marry a lady Tafadhali ukiongozwa na Mungu hautakupata makosa. Somo la uongozi wa kiungu linagusa kila nyanja za maisha. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Following the ways of God. Kuzifuata njia za Mungu. Note that God's ways. Kumbuka njia za Mungu may not be modern. Zinaweza siwe za kisasa. It may be old fashioned. Zinaweza kuwa za kizamani. Please follow it. Zifuate.
it may be old time. Naweza kawa za kizamani. We are in a, new, a computer age now. Tuko katika ulimwengu wa computer. It does not erode the ways of God. Yenyewe haiwezi kukuonyesha njia za Mungu. You know something happened in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7. Kuna kitu kilichotokea kwa Chronicles. Mambo ya Chronicles chapter 13 verse 7. 13:7 The way of God there is that if the ark will be carried Njia za Mungu ni kwamba kama sanduku la agano likibebwa likabebwa mabegani mwa watu kwa sababu ya teknolojia wakatengeneza kagari wakaweka kwenye gari jipya wakalibeba sanduku la Mungu kwenye kigari was the one driving the car Uza ndio alikuwa analiendesha lile gari Mungu akakasirika Mungu akakasirika and kill Uza akamua Uza in verse 10 Sali wa 10 13 the Lord in verse 10 the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uza and he smote him because the ark wanted to fall he put his hand Ndipo hasira ya Bwana ikawaka juu ya Uza naye akampiga He died before the Lord Kwa sababu alinyosha mkono kwa ajili ya kulisaidia sanduku na akafa pale pale mbele za Mungu in chapter 15 verse 2 first one chapter 15 verse mstari wa pili mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza chapter 15 verse 2 ndipo daudi akasema baada sasa daudi kwenda kuuliza baada ya kufa kwa uza hakuna aliyeligusa ile sanduku tena wakaliweka kwenye nyumba ya obededo Mungu akaanza kuibariki nyumba ya obededo kwa miezi mitatu daudi akauliza kuna nini akagundua ought to carry the ark of God be delivered. Haimpasi mtu awe yote kulichukua sanduku isipokuwa walawi peke yao. And they had chosen to carry the ark of God. Na kwa kuwa hao ndio walio wachagua Bwana. Minister unto him forever. Ili wachukue sanduku na kumtumikia daima. Hallelujah. And in verse 13. 13. And in verse 13. 13. He said because we did it not at the first the first time we did it we he said the Lord our God made a breach upon us for we sought him not at Mungu alitukasirikia kwa sababu hatukufuata utaratibu. God is a God of due order. Mungu ni Mungu wa sheria na taratibu. Ukifuata utaratibu wake kunaleta baraka, kunaleta thawabu. He say we didn't do it according to Anasema hatukufanya kwa kufuata sheria. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. In most government they call it due process. Kwenye serikali nyingi wanasema mchakato utaratibu, kuna utaratibu wake. Guided ongozwa na Mungu. But don't let's know also that the voice of the Lord is the principal channel of divine guidance. Lakini pia tujue kwamba sauti ya Mungu ndio kitu cha msingi cha kukuongoza au Mungu anachotumia. The God guides us through his voice. Mungu anatuongoza kupitia sauti yake. In John chapter 10 verse 27. Yohana 3:27. Through his voice he guides us. John chapter 10 verse 27. Yohana 3. Is it Jesus answered? No, John chapter 10 verse 27. 10:27. He said, a sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. And I know them and they follow me. I know them, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them, they follow me. Sema kondo wangu wata nisikia sauti yangu na wajua na wana nifuata. The voice of God. Sauti ya buwana. And when we talk about the voice of God. Tunaposo ngumzia sauti ya mungu. They have a, understand that God speaks to us audibly. Mungu sema nasi kwa sauti ya kusikika unamsikia Mungu kama unavyonisikia hivi lakini sio njia pekee ambayo Mungu anasema nasi tunaposema sauti ya Bwana usiweke tu mawazo yako katika kuisikia sauti hii ya kusikika njia nyingine tunayosikia sauti ya Mungu ni kupitia neno lake. Nyuma ya kila andiko kuna sauti. Mungu anaweza kusema na wewe kati unasoma Biblia wakati unajifunza. Kutoka kwenye kurasa za maandiko. Mungu anaweza kusema na wewe. Kaza haleluya. Lakini pia tunapozungumzia sauti ya Mungu. Ni sauti ya Roho Mtakatifu. Na ndicho tulichozungumzia Jumatano. Roma takatifu na tuongoza kupitia sauti yake. The third way he speaks, we hear the voice is through 
the Holy Ghost speaking to our na own spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. There is a communication between the spirit of God and your spirit Kuna man. Kuna maasiriano kati ya roho wako na roho wa mungu. The spirit is, uh, that's the Holy Spirit. Roho mwenyewe ambaye roho mtakatifu. Witness with our spirit. Hushudia pamoja na roho zetu. There is zetu. a communication when you are born again. Kuna kuwa na maasiriano na poko. There is a communication between you and the Holy Spirit. Kuna maasiriano kati ya wewe na roho mtakatifu. That you can hear and small still voice unaweza kaisikia sauti ya chini ya ndani sauti ya taratibu ndani ya roho yako many call it inner witness wengi wanaita ushahidi wa ndani that voice is there no other person will hear you with you sauti unaisikia wewe tu hakuna mwingine anaisikia when you hear people say something was telling me unasikia mtu anakwambia kuna kitu kilikuwa kinaniambia kuna kitu au nilikuwa nasikia ndani this is how god guides us hivyo ndivyo mungu anavyotuongoza somebody shout hallelujah please, hallelujah. please Develop yourself to hear his voice of revelation. Just as every child, every child of God is entitled to the voice of God. Kila mwana mungu na saidi kuisikia sauti ya mungu. Or let me put it this way: Just as every child of man, kama mbavu kila mtoto wamtu, is entitled to the voice or a tongue of man. Anatakiwa kuisikia kuielewa sauti ya mwanadamu. Every child of God is entitled to the voice of God. Vivyo hivyo kila mwana wa Mungu anatakiwa kuisikia na kuijua sauti ya Mungu. John chapter 10 verse 1 to 5. Yohana 10:1 to 5. Yohana 10:1 to 5. You are entitled to the voice. Unastahili kuisikia sauti yake. Verily verily I say unto you he that enter not by the door into the sheepfold but climbing Amin. up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. Amen, amen. Now, I'm being here. I see him going to Langon. He cuts his leg on door. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. But to him, the porter opened and the sheep hear his voice. But to him, the porter opened and the sheep hear his voice. But to him, the porter opened and the sheep hear his voice. And he called his own sheep by name. Nae huwaita kondo wake kwa majina yao na huwapeleka nje. He put it forth his own sheep and he goes before them. Na and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. Nae awatoapo nje kondo wake wote huwatangulia na wale kondo mfuata kwa maana waijua sauti yake. And the stranger they will not follow. Mgeni hawata mfuata kabisa. But they will flee from them for they know not the voice of a stranger. Bali watamkimbia kwa maana hawazijui sauti za wageni. Who is a stranger the devil? There is a voice of the devil. Mgeni ni nani ni shetani. That's why not every voice you hear. Yo mana, so kila sauti That's why every sikia. voice you hear must be checked. Kila sauti na yesikia ichunguze. Not every voice you hear is a voice of God. Si kila sauti na yesikia ni ya mungu. There is a voice of your flesh. Kuna sauti ya mwili wako. There is a voice of Satan. Kuna sauti ya shetani. That's why every voice must come, must be tested. Yo mana kila sauti lazima uipime uichunguze. Because God will never tell you anything that is contrary to the word. Kwa sababu mungu awezo kukuambia kitu kilicho kinyume na neno lake. When it is against the word of God. Inapo kwa tu kinyume na neno la mungu. Know that it is from the Satan. Ujue kabisa inatoka kwa mgeni. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz hallelujah. Yeah. And the devil will do you to 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 deceive you. Na shetani atafanya kukudanganya. Please watch out for that. Tafadhali wewe makini. Because someone said recently he, he has something. Mtumishi wa Mungu anasema alisikia kitu. He thought it was God speaking. Akadhani ni sauti ya Mungu. Hakujua kwamba ni shetani mwenyewe. But God rescued him. He said he could have made a mistake. Lakini Mungu alimuokoa na sema angefanya makosa. That's why be, be careful the voices you hear. Ndio maana uwe makini sana sauti unayosikia. And everyone who who seek voices. Na yeyote anayetafuta sauti. Those who seek voices hear a lot of voices. Wale wanaotafuta sauti huzisikia nyingi. Those who go around town looking for who Wale wanaenda mjini wanatafuta watu wa wasemao. Aone maono. They are easily deceived. Wao ndio wanaodanganyika kirahisi sana. Wewe to hear God. Wewe unaweza kumsikia Mungu no, wewe mwenyewe. No God for you. Hakuna anayetakiwa kumsikia Mungu kwa ajili yako. It is your entitlement as a child of God. Ni halali yako haki yako kama mwana wa Mungu. Don't be paying people aside to hear God for you. Usilipe watu wetu wakwambie Mungu anasemaje. They are not hearing it, they are only deceiving. Hawasikii chochote wanakudanganya tu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hasa hallelujah. But the question is, how do I assess divine guidance? Swali ni na upataje uongozwa kiungu? How do I assess if divine guidance is important? Kama uongozo wa kiungu ni muhimu hivyo. And it comes through the voice of God. Na unakuja kupitia sauti ya mungu ni na upataje. Number one, to assess divine guidance is to the following. Fanya fuata. Number one, be born again. Uokoke. Because if you are not born again, you are not part of the sheep and you don't have a shepherd. Usipo koka we si sehemi ya kondo na hauna mchungaji. Number two. Mbili. 
you must remain spiritual. Baki kuwa wakiroho. That is, that is the a foundation of it after being born again. Baada ya kuokoka msingi wake, lazima wake kwa wakiroho. That voice of the Lord is the voice of the spirit. Iyo sauti ya buwana ni sauti ya rohoni. And a canal believer cannot hear. Mtu wa tabia za mwilini, hawezi kusikia. A canal believer cannot perceive. Mtu wa kawaida, hawezi kuelewa. Even though when God speaks, he will not know. Hata pale mungu wa naposema, hautajua. That is, you must be spiritual. Lazima uwe wakiroho. And remain spiritual. Na ubaki kuwa wakiroho. If you must hear the voice of God. Kama unataka kuisikia sauti ya roho. Because first Corinthians chapter two verse fourteen. Wa Corinthians wa kwanza mbili kumi na ne. First Corinthians chapter two verse fourteen. Mbili kumi na ne wa Corinthians wa kwanza. You say a natural man. Asema mtoto tabia mwilini. The word natural there means a carnal man. Ana manisha mwana damu wakawaida tabia za asili. Receive not the things of the spirit. Haya poke mambo ya roho wa mungu. For they are foolishness unto him. Mana kwa ke huyo ni ukuzi. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually designed. Wala hawezi kuyafamu kwa kuwa ya tambulika kwa jinsi ya rohoni. Canality have robbed a lot of people of their place in redemption. Ukimwili umewaibia watu wengi hati mazao. The church is full with kana believers today. Kanisa li mejana watu wa kimwili leo. Who is living in after the flesh. Anachoishi anafuata mwili. They don't come to church to be blessed. Haji kanisani kubarikiwa. They come to church to look what people wear. Anakuja kanisani kuangalia watu wamevaa nini. They come to church to look at the girl they would toast. Anakuja kuangalia dadagada atamdanganya. They come to church to look at how they would deceive. Anaangalia nani atamrubuni atamwibia. The church that people can hear God. Ukimwili umejaa watu kanisani kiasi hawawezi kumsikia tena Mungu. And the Bible said to be carnally minded. Na Biblia inasema kuwa kimwili is dead. Ni mauti. Romans chapter 8. Let's read from verse 6 to 8. Warumi nane, sita mpaka nane. If you are not hearing God, kama umsiki mungu, check your spirituality. Angalia maisha yako ya kiroho. Do away with the flesh. You are walking under the flesh. Achana na mambu ya mwilini. He said to be carnally minded is dead. Nane, sita, warumi. And to be spiritually minded is life and praise. Kwa kuwa nye ya mwili ni mauti, bahari nye ya roho ni uzima na amani. Verse 7. Saba. Because the carnal mind is enmity with God. Kwa kuwa ile nye ya mwili ni uadui juu ya mungu. If the carnal mind is enmity with God, how can you hear God? Kama uo kuwa mwili ni uadui na mungu, tamsikia je mungu. The carnal mind is enmity with God. Kuwa na nye ya mwili ni uadui na mungu. So it is subject, it is not subject to the law of God. Haiwezi kumti mwili sheria ya mungu. Either in the carnal mind. Na wala haiwezi kuiti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And them, they that are in the flesh, wale wa ufuata o muiri, cannot please God. Hawawezi kumpendeza mungu. Cannot please. Most of your testimonies are delayed. Shuda nyingi zinachelewa. Are not coming to you because of carnality. Hazidi kuwa koko sababu ya ukimuni. Because our blessings are released spiritually. Barakaze tu kwanza na chiliwa kiroho. Because the Bible says God has blessed us with. All spiritual blessings. Vienda sema mungu ametu bariki baraka zana mna zote katika rumengu wa roho. Spiritual believer. Ina itajika muamini ari kiroho. To receive the blessings. Kupokea baraka toka kwa mungu. This is one of the things. Hii ni moja vitu. Canality is one of the things you must deal with. Ukimuili ni moja vitu ambayo na pasa kuvishuguli kia. If you must be blessed. Come on, taka kubarikiwa. Because the church is not a social club. Kanisa sio klabu. The church is not an ethnic association. Kanisa sio mali pama husiano. The church is a spiritual family. Kanisa ni familia ya kiroho. And the carnal-minded believer cannot get anything. Na muamini alie kimuili hawezi pata chochote. A carnal believer comes to church to socialize. Muamini wa kimuili na kuja tu kukutana marafiki. Because the spiritual see this thing as the house of God. Lakini wa kiroho wanaona kama ni nyumba ya mungu. And is connected with the heart to receive. Na anajiungamanisha kwa moyo wake wate kupokea kwa mungu. Kane church. Church began at years. Kanisa naweza kwa laki muiri ndio. That was the story of the of the current church. Nandio iliokuwa kwa Corintho. And Apostle Paul addressed it. Namtume Paulo akarisemea. In First Corinthians chapter ten, I'm reading from verse one. Wa Corintho kwanza tatu msaada kwanza. He was writing, and you could see the tone of that. He said, "Alikuwa na wambi na ukutaona ukali." They were born again. Walikuwa mekoka. He was the one that got most of them born again. Him and Apollos. Yeye yendi alio ashudi ya wengi wakaukoka. But a lot of Canality was there. If you read the story of the of the Corinthian church, there is nothing you don't see there. History of Canisa la la Corintho. Even the apostle Paul scolded them that even somebody would take his father's wife and sleep with the father's wife. Hata akasema kunamtu anaweza taka chukua mti wa baba yake kwa kala na. They were fighting with the community. They were fighting. If you read verse eleven, chapter eleven, that's why in verse seven he began with it. And said, "I brethren, I will not talk." 
could not speak unto you as unto Ndugu zangu mimi sikuweza kusema nanyi kwa kama watu wa tabia za rohoni. Unto kana. Bali kama watu wenye tabia za mwili. Kama na watoto wachanga katika Kristo. When you see a Christian after many years you are born again you are not growing it is canality. Unapomwona Mkristo ameokoka miaka mingi hakui huyo ni kimwili. Canality makes you a perpetual baby in Christ. Kimwili unakufanya kuendelea kuwa mtoto mchanga ndani ya Kristo. And look at the manifestation of it. Angalia udhihirisho wake. Utajijuaje wewe kwamba bado uko kimwili? First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2. Say, I have fed you with milk. Naliwanyesha maziwa. The milk of the world. Sikualisha kwa chakula. Not with the meat. Sikualisha chakula. For he told you we are not able to bear it. Kwa maana mlikuwa hamjakiweza. Neither yet na are you able. Namna naam hata sasa hamkiwezi. For ye are yet kana. Kwa maana hata sasa ninyi ni watu wa tabia za mwilini. We are us. Imana That is the, that is when you see a carnal child these are the things you see. Unapoona kanisa liko mwilini haya ndio mambo tayaona. There is among you envy. Kanisa yenu kuna husuda. Somebody shared testimony and you are angry. Kuna mtu ametoa ushuhuda hapo wewe umevimba. That is why you don't get. Ndio maana wewe upate. Because what you don't celebrate you will not attract. Usichokisherekea hutakipata. You 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 see you see every testimony as a makeup. Kwa kila ushuhuda unaona unaona kama wametengeneza fake. Because of envy. Kwa sababu ya wivu. Strive. Mavu, majivuno division migawanyiko this are the thing put that scripture why are you running away he say are you not canal and work as men anasemaje nyinyi sio tabia za mwilini these are the manifestations naende mnaenda kama binadamu when such things is in your life you can't hear god mambo ya kile namna hiyo yakiwa mwilini ndani yako huwezi kumsikia mungu and you can't get his direction na huwezi kupata uongozi wake that's the reason of many mistake and many up and down na hayo ndio matokeo ya kushuka kupanda makosa mengi when god leaves you there's nothing like better yesterday mungu akikuongoza huwezi kufanikiwa jana kuliko leo because he always leaves for what kwa sababu siku zote anakupeleka mbele zaidi hata kunapokuwa na bahari ya shaka he makes a way where there is no anakufanyia njia pale ambapo kunakuwa hakuna njia somebody shout hallelujah haza hallelujah I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. If you want to hear God, unataka kumsikia Mungu uwe kiroho. You, you know in Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. Ufunuo moja 10. Apostle Apostle John the Beloved said. Yohana Mpendo akasema. I was in the spirit. Nilikuwa katika roho. On the Lord's day. Katika siku ya Bwana. And heard behind me. Nikasikia sauti nyuma yangu. If you are not spiritual you won't hear it. Kama hauko kiroho huwezi kusikia. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. You are praying you are making call. Unaomba huko unapiga simu. You can be hearing your friend and hearing God at the same. Uweze kumsikiliza rafiki yako na wakati huo ukamsikiliza Mungu. You must tune into the spiritual spirit. Lazima ujitune kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. What more? Nini tena? How to assess number 3. Namna gani unaweza kupata uongozi wa kiungu tatu? You must engage praise and worship. Tumia sifa na kuabudu. Make praise and worship your lifestyle. Fanya sifa na kuabudu kama mtindo wa maisha yako. One of the easiest way if you are spiritual and praise God. Kama wewe ni wa kiroho kumsifu Mungu na kumtukuza ni jambo la kawaida. Kati kati ya sifa Mungu hunena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 29. Isaiah 30:29. The, the recommendation is this, say you shall have a song. Anasema na utakuwa wimbo. Utakuwa na wimbo. You shall have a song. Utakuwa na wimbo. As in the night when the solely summity is kept and gladness of heart when one go wait with a pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord to the mighty one of Israel na mtakuwa na wimbo kama wengine wakati wa usiku ishikwapo siku huu takatifu mtakuwa na furaha na moyo ya moyo kama vile mtu aendapo na filimbi katika mlima wa Bwana aliyemwamba wa Israel and verse 30 Thelathini. you will have a song Ndio utakuwa na wimbo. Naye Bwana atawasikizisha watu sauti yake ya utukufu. Wanaojua namna kusifu na kumwabudu Mungu hawaikosi sauti ya Mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. In the situation you don't know what to do. Kwenye ile changamoto ambapo hujui ufanye nini? Sing and worship God. Imba na umwabudu Mungu. He will direct you on what to do. Atakuongoza cha kufanya. You will hear him. Utamsikia. Because praise is an invitation God has no power to reject. Kwa sababu sifa ni mwaliko ambao Mungu hawezi kukataa. When praise goes up, God comes. Sifa zinapopanda juu Mungu anashuka. And God does not come without speaking. Na Mungu hashuki bila kuongea. He will tell you my son this is what to do. Atakwambia mwanangu fanya hivi. Binti yangu fanya hivi. Many of the encounters of God 
told me God said to this to me Mara nyingi Mungu nacho anachoniambia amesema hivi amesema hivi It is two praise Nikupitia sifa Osavan she one of them one time Siku moja mtumishi wa Mungu alishirikisha He had an, a disappointment Aliumizwa He supposed to travel Alitakiwa kusafiri to Dr Casey Price meeting Kwenda kwenye mkutano wa Casey Price There was flight problem na kulikuwa na tatizo la ndege. Wakati akiwa Lagos, the man called he said I'm still in Lagos. Simu, akasema, bado niko Lagos. And he went back. Akarudi. He went back to Kaduna. Akarudi Kaduna. Why on the way? Akiwa njiani. He lost his luggage. Mysteriously doesn't Akapoteza know. Akapoteza mizigo yake, hakujua mabegi yake yamepotelea wapi. That didn't affect him. Lakini yeye wala alikumkwaza. He say to him said thank God it is my own that lost not my wife own. Akasema tunamshukuru Mungu ni mabegi yangu aliyopotea na sio ya mke wangu. Came back to Kaduna they are the, the meeting cancelled. Akarudi Kaduna ule mkutano kule ukaaribishwa. But the engagement cancelled. Alikuwa anaenda kule kuhubiri lakini ule mkutano ukaaribishwa. It didn't affect him. Hiyo halikumgusa sana. The next morning he went to Baton to Bar. Asubuhi iliyofuata akaenda kuonga. Alikuwa anaimba. Unasaili Bwana. Mungu usioonekana. Wewe ndiye mtenda miujiza wangu. Wewe ndiye unayestahili. Alipokuwa kiimba. Akasikia sauti. Arise. Inuka. Get down to Lagos. Nenda Lagos. Ukani inulie watu. He continued singing. Akaendelea kuimba. Akajifanya jasikia. Why because Lagos was not a place to be. Kwa nini kwa sababu alikuwa hapendi kwenda Lagos? It was as he was singing. Wakati anaendelea kuimba. Telling God you are worthy. Aambia Mungu wewe unastahili. God came and talked. He was not praying. Hakuwa kiomba, alikuwa anaimba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says you shall have a song. Biblia inasema utakuwa na wimbo. And the Lord will cause his glory to Mungu atafanya uisikie yeah. sauti. Learn how to worship God. Jifunze namna kumwabudu Mungu. Don't just worship God in the church. Usimwabudu Mungu kanisani tu. Even don't pray without thanking and worshiping and praising. Na usianze kuomba kabla ya kuomba na kumwabudu Mungu na kusifu. Psalm 100 verse 4 say enter his gate. Sabuni 100 msalimu anaingia malangoni mwake kwa kusifu. Na nyuani mwake kwa kushukuru. When you enter his gate with thanksgiving and God with praise. Unapoingia kwa kushukuru na nyuani mwake kwa kusifu. Can you enter into somebody's house that person will be dumb? Unaweza no. Unaweza kaingia kwa mtu halafu huyo mtu tu akabaki kimya. Lazima huyo mtu aseme na wewe. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Yes, yes, hallelujah. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. I will take the next during the second service. Yana yofuata taona ibada pili. Okay, what are the proofs of divine guidance? Ni nini udhihirisho wa kuongozwa kiungu? How do you know that yes God is guiding? Unajuaje kwamba hii huyu ni Mungu? No Ushahidi ni upi? It destroys all fears. Uongozi wa kiungu unaondoa hofu zote. God leads you to a place. Mungu anapokuongoza kwenda mahali. You see yourself going there with all boldness. Utaojiona mwenyewe unaenda kwa ujasiri wote. Going there without any fear. Unaenda bila hofu yoyote. Fear of molestation, fear of any attack. Hofu ya kunyanyaswa, hofu ya mashambulizi. In Psalm 23 where we read. Sabuni 23 tuliposoma. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu na wala sitapungukiwa. Huniongoza kando ya maji tu. Hatanikiapopita kati ya bonde la uvuri wa mauti Wala sita ogopa Siogopi mabaya yote Kwa nini? Mungu wanapo kuongoza Yuko pamoja nawe We unamfuata tu Chochote kinacho muina mia yeye kita kutamia we Kuna cha kuogopa mungu wanapo kuwa pamoja na we Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Kama unaenda mahali huko na una hofu tafadhali rudi. Oh, Labda nitapata ajali. Labda kuna hili tatokea. Well. Angalia vizuri kama Mungu anakuongoza. Mungu anapokuongoza hakuna hofu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. When I was enlisted to be a pastor. Nilipoingizwa kuwa mchungaji. My first posting 
Uh, kituo changu cha kwanza I was in Abuja FCT Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria Nilikuwa Abuja and that was where I was enlisted Ndio nilipojiunga And they posted me to a place called Bauchi Wakanipeleka huko sehemu inaitwa Bauchi And there was crisis Kulikuwa na mapigano There was heavy crisis in Jos Kulikuwa na vita na mapigano And the day I was going Siku nilipokuwa naenda I couldn't reach they said no that's no how we can cross there Hawakasema hatuna namna tunaweza kufika kule I turned back Nikarudi Pack my loads kafunga shamizigo yangu nikaenda kwenye kanisa la karibu wengi wakasema nenda kawaambie uongozwe kubadilishie kituo lakini sikuogopa I have gone there to cover to come and pack my tents nikaenda kule nikapewa kanisa nikaja kubeba vitu vyangu ilikuwa ni sehemu mbaya ambayo ilikuwa na ugopo na kila mtu lakini nilikuwa siogopi and one day without telling them i moved Siku moja bila hata kuambia nikaondoka. Even there was coffee that there was on certain time you don't go. You don't even get anybody to carry you. Kulikuwa na onyo kiasi ambacho uko na wakati fulani hupati hata gari la kupeleka huyu mtu akupeleka. I was coded and I was shouted about. Lakini mimi nilikuwa na I want them to kill me. Watu wako napiga makelele wako wanasema taka kuwe lakini kuna kitu kiko kinanisukuma. There was no There was no fear at all. Hakukuwa na hofu ndani yangu kabisa. Even my two years and two months in that place a lot of crisis happened there was no fear. Hata ile miaka miwili na miezi miwili niliyokaa pale mengi yalitokea lakini sikuwa na hofu. you no fear at all. Mungu anapokuongoza hakuna hofu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Number 2. Number 2. Divine guidance in gender supernatural virtue. Uongozi wa kiungu na kuletea mipenyo ya kiungu. Sifa moja hapo ya kwamba unaongozwa kimungu ni mipenyo. Unakuwa usiyezuilika kwa sababu Mungu anakuongoza. Isaya 45:1 Isaya 45:1 and 2 Mili. Talking about Zairos. Anamzungumzia Koresh. In verse God say I will go before thee. Anasema nitakwenda mbele zako. That is what happened when God goes be- when Ndicho kinachotokea Mungu anapokuongoza. And when he goes before thee say he will make the crooked places straight. Anasema kisha kutangulia kuta, uh, kuta tasawazisha kila palipo paruza. And I will break in the gates of brass. Nitavunja vipande vipande. And sunder the bars of iron. Nitavunja vipande vipande na kuvi. You break forth on every side. Na malango ya shaba na kwa katakata mapingo ya chuma. Mungu anapokuwa anakuongoza. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. And not here with a bigger hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. And not here with a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will guide you. Mungu atakuongoza. Psalm 32 verse 8. Zaburi 32:8. Tafadhali kubali uongozo wa kiungu. Psalm 32 verse 8 say I will. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that thou should go. And I will guide thee. Nitakufundisha na kukuonyesha njia utakayoendea. Nitakushauri jicho langu likikutazama. God will guide you. Mungu atakuongoza. I say God will guide you. Mungu atakuongoza. And not here in a bigger amen. Sisi amen. And as we come before we pray and partake of the communion. Kabla hatujaomba na kushiriki ushiriki mtakatifu. The subject of favor is so important to every life. Somo la kibali ni muhimu sana kwa maisha ya yoyote. Everyone desires favor. Kila anayetamani kibali. Everyone is happy when he or she is favor. Kila mtu anafurahi pale anapokuwa pata kibali au pendelewa. No one rejoices at misfortune and rejection. Hakuna anayefurahia kukataliwa na na bahati mbaya na mikosi. And the life that lacks favor is a life frustrated and stagnant. Maisha yaliyokosa upendeleo kibali ni maisha yaliyochanganyikiwa. That is why you must position yourself for divine favor. Lazima ujiweke sawa kwa ajili ya kupata upendeleo. Divine favor is blessing from God. Blessing from God. Kibali cha kiungu ni ki, ni baraka toka kwa Mungu. You do not deserve ambacho hustahili au huwezi kuelezea isipokuwa ni mkono wa Mungu ni baraka ambayo hustahili na huwezi kuielezea isipokuwa tu ni mkono wa Mungu wewe mwenyewe tu unabaki unatazama hujui ametokeaje tokeaje kibali cha kiungu is excessive kindness ni ule wema wa kupitiliza au upendeleo maalum kuna watu ambao wanapokea upendeleo kuna ile inaitwa upendeleo wa kiungu 
you could see it in the story between Esau and Jacob. Unaweza kuona katika hadithi ya Esau na Yakobo. You see how Jacob was favored even from the womb. Ona Yakobo alipopendelewa angali tumboni. Esau never did anything. Esau hajaifanya kukosa lolote. Apostle Paul painted the picture in Romans chapter 10. Katika Warumi 10 mtume Paulo alieleza. Romans chapter 9 reading from verse 10 to 16. Warumi 9 10 16. Define preferential treatment. Upendelewa kiungu. And he said not and not only this but when Rebecca also have conceived by one even our father Isaac. Wala si tu hivyo lakini Rebecca naye akisha kuchukua mimba kwa mume mmoja ambaye ni Isaac baba. For the children be not yet born. Kwa maana kabla watoto hawajazaliwa neither having done any good wala hawajatenda neno jema no wala baya There was no good Jacob did and no evil jema alilofanya Yakobo wala baya alilofanya Hawakufanya lolote jema au baya But that the purpose of God according to relation my stand Ba ili lisimame kusudi la Mungu la kuchagua Not of wars but of him that called Kwa sababu ya matendo bali kwa sababu ya nia yake aitaye Aliambiwa hivi Kubwa tamtumikia mdogo And it is written Na imeandikwa Jacob have I loved Nimempenda ya kubo And Esau have I hated Bali Esau nimempata What did Esau do? Esau lipanya nini? That is divine partiality Uni upendele wa kiungu Hallelujah Hallelujah And Apostle Paul asked in verse 14 Mtume Paula kauliza mfala kwa nana Can we now say there is a righteous race in God? Ye, tuseme nini bas Kuna udhalimu kwa mungu, hasha No, God forbid because he told Moses that I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it. Not of him that will it. Then it is not of him that will it. 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 Not of him Ni mungu aonyeshai rehema Upendeleo wa kiungu Hallelujah Unaitaji upendeleo katika maisha Wengi wao katika changamoto na kutana nae kwa mba Hawana kibali Lakini hadithi yako inabadilika leo Hadithi yako inabadilika leo Nema Makes a man function without struggle. Inafanya mtu afanye kazi bila mahangaiko. But favor makes a man to receive without asking. Lakini kibari kinafanya mtu apoke bila kuomba. Favor makes a man to receive without asking. Kibari kinafanya mtu apoke bila kuomba. One of the ways. Moja njia. God show His goodness to His people. Zamuko kuonyesha we mawa ke kwa watu wa kwenye kipindi kibari. Favor is one of the ways God showed His goodness to us. Kibari ni njia moja pamba mungu na onyesha we mawa ke kwa watu. That's why He said in Exodus seven verse twenty one. Kutoka tatu shina moja kwa sisi. I will give these people favor. Akasema tapa upendeleo. In the side of the Egyptians. Machoni pawa misi. That it shall come to pass. Itakuwa. That when they go, they shall not go empty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in Exodus chapter twelve. Kutoka kumi na mbili. Verse thirty five and thirty six. Sela tuna tano thena thena sita. God showed them kindness. Mungu kwa onyesha we mawaki. And the Bible say. Mungu Biblia nsema. Exodus chapter twelve verse thirty five and thirty six. Kumi na mbili thena thena tano thena thena sita. Oh, let's read verse thirty six. Thena thena sita. And the Lord gave the people favor. Bwana akawajaliwa kupendelewa. In the side of the Egyptians. Na wa misri. The source of favor is God. That's why we say divine favor. Dio manu nasema kibali cha kiungu. God is the one that favors. Mungu dio na etuwa upendeleo. So he can move any man including those who does not know you and you don't know. Mungu anaweza kampusa yoyote unawajua so wajua. Hallelujah. And God gave them favor. Na mungu kapa upendeleo. As he have said. Kama alivyo sema. And as he have said it concerning you and I today. Na kama alivyo sema kusena wei na mimi leo. He will give you favor. Ata kupa kibali leo. In your office he will give you favor. Office ni kwa kwa ata kupa kibali. Favor means protocol of no effect. Kibali kinafanya taratibu na sheria zisifu watu. Favor breaks protocol for yourself. Upendeleo unaharibu upendeleo. Sheria na taratibu. Favor give you a position you are not qualified for. Kibali kina kupa nafasi sio stahili. That is what favor is all about. Dicho mana kibali. In fact, favor. Kuharisi kibali. Favor give you what a lifetime labor cannot give you. Kina kupatia kile ambacho kazi ya maisha ya koyote isingeza kukupatia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life is not a race or stretch. Maisha sio mbio walanguvu. Sweetness or skill. 
Ujanja wala ujuzi. His answers absolutely to favor. Majibu yake yanajibu kwa kibali tu. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. Muhubiri 9:11. The Bible say I have told. Asa mane karudi. And saw that the so that the race is not for the swift nor the battle for the strong. Neither yet bridge to the wise. Karudi na kuona chini ya juu kwamba. Nor yet riches to the men of understanding. Nor si yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. Si wenye mbio washindao katika michezo, wala si walio hodari washindao vitani, wala si wenye ekima wapatao chakula, wala si watu wa ufahamu wapatao mari, wala wenye ustadi wapatao pendeleo, lakini wakati wa bahati wapata wote, maana mwanadamu na ehajui wakati wake, kama samaki wana wakamata katika mnyavu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9 said, By strength shall no man. Samuel mbili tisa nasema, Kwa nguvu hakuna takaishinda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Position yourself for his favor. Jiweke kwa jiri ya kibari na upendelewa. The quality of a man's life Ubora wa maisha ya mtu is a function of the favor at work in his life. Ni matokeo ya kibari cha mungu kina chotenda kazi ndani ya maisha yake. The quality of a man's life Ubora au sifa ya maisha ya mtu is a function of the favor of God. Ni matokeo ya kibari kinachotenda kazi ndani ya maisha ya mtu. Everything you have you struggle to get. Kama kila ulichonacho unahangaika ili ukipate, you need the favor of God. Unahitaji kibari cha Mungu. If everything you wear you buy them you need the favor of God. Kama kila unachovaa unanunua unahitaji kibari cha Mungu. From January to December is only your salary you Kama need the favor. Kama kila kutoka January mpaka December ni mshahara wako na kila unachokitaabikia. Your life will never be greater than the favor of God. Maisha yako hayawezi kuwa makubwa mabora kuliko kibali cha Mungu kilichojua maisha Somebody yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. But may I say this to you? Lakini sema hili kwako. That the favor of God kibali cha Mungu is not a function of location sio matokeo ya unakaa wapi a function of divine allocation bali inategemea na pale ulipo kiungu maana it is not a function of where you are haihusiani na uko wapi it is not a function of your background haihusiani na ulizaliwa wapi it is not a function of your language haihusiani wewe ni kabila gani haihusiani natoka nchi gani it is a function of who you are kibali kinatokana na wewe ni nani na umeunganika vipi na Mungu of your obedience ni matokeo ya utii wako kwenye maelekezo ya kimungu many people say oh because i am here wengine wanasema kwa sababu mimi niko hapa i wish i'm in america natamani ingekuwa marekani i wish i'm in london natamani ingekuwa uingereza no the life will not be the way it is maisha yasingekuwa hivi yalivyo no it is not about where you are it is all about who you are kwa wapi swala wewe ni nani somebody shout hallelujah kaza hallelujah because god is no respecter of any nation or any location hana upendeleo kwa taifa au eneo as chapter 10 verse 34 matendo 10:34 uh, apostle paul say i perceive mtume paulo anasema na nimeshushika that nimesha god is no respecter of any person ya kwamba mungu hana upendeleo and in verse 35 say in any nation na anasema katika kila taifa but in every nation katika kila taifa that feared him and walked righteously he is accepted with him please it's not about your background that's why you should not allow your background to put your back on the ground it's all about your positioning your connectivity with God being in touch with God your connectivity with God your connectivity with God being in touch with God being in touch with God somebody shout hallelujah if a goat travel to America Mbuzi akisafiri kwenda Marekani he will not change to be a cow. Hawezi kubadilika kuwa ngombe. He remains goat in America. Atabaki mbuzi hivyo hivyo. Location does not change his identity. Eneo haribadilishi utambulisho wako. He remains wako. goat forever. Atabaki hivyo hivyo mbuzi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. And not having a bigger hallelujah. Yes, yes, hallelujah. This place where you are now. Hapa ulipo sasa hivi. God have something in store Mungu for you. Mungu ana kwa ajili yako. Please provoke the favor of God. Tafadhali itia kibali cha Mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. And not here being a bigger hallelujah. Yes, yeah, hallelujah. You, you know in Revelation. Ufunuo. I want to read uh, in Romans chapter 10 verse 12. The Bible said there is no different. Romans chapter 10 verse 12. He said there is no different. There is ten verse twelve. There is no different between the Jew and the Greek. Kwa mana hakuna tofauti katika miyahudi wala miyunani. For the same Lord. Kwa mana yeye bwana yeye yule yule. 
the same Lord over all. Yeye yule ni bwana wa wote. Is rich unto all that call upon him. Mwenye utajiri kwa wote wa mwitao. There is no difference between the black and the white. Hakuna tofauti kati ya mweusi na mweupe. It's all about our divine position. Swala ni tumeunganika vipi na Mungu? Anywhere you are, even though you are in the village, the typical village in Hata ungekuwa kule kijijini ndani. If you are connected. Kama umeungamanika. You'll be favored as somebody in the town. Utastawi na kufanikiwa kuliko yule aliyeko mjini. Kama umeunganika hapa. You'll be blessed as somebody that is in London. Utabarikiwa kuliko yule aliyeuingereza. People of God. Watu wa Mungu. That is how it work. Ndivyo inavyotenda kazi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwanza hallelujah. But how do I one of the things there are benefit of favor. Let me look at two Ziko of them. Ziko faida za kibali. I will share with you how to provoke favor. Nishi na nitakwambia namna gani unavyoweza kuchochea kibali. Number one benefit of favor when you faida when your life is favored. Maisha yako unapokuwa umepata kibali. Is favor terminate tears. Kibali kinakomesha machozi. Yes. Psalm 30 verse 5 to 7. Zaburi 37 for his anger moment and and it is favor that turns our tears into testimony. Nikibali ndio kinageuza machozi yetu kuwa shuhuda. And that secret tears of somebody shall be turned to testimony in this house. Na mtu fulani asili atageuzwa kuwa shuhuda leo. Somebody I'm talking to shout a louder amen. Wewe unasema naye paza amen. Number 2. Favor brings promotions. Kibali kinaleta kuinuliwa. You could see the story of Joseph in Genesis chapter 39 verse. Unaweza kuona hadithi ya Yusuf mwanzo 24. And Joseph find favor. Asema na Yusufu akapata upendeleo. He was promoted. Akawinuliwa. He found favor. Akapata kibali. That he was made overseer. Yeye akafanya kuwa mwangalizi. Genesis 31 verse 21. Genesis 31 moja. And the Bible say Anasema. and the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor. Na Bwana alikuwa pamoja na Yusufu naye akamfadhili akampa kibali machoni pa mkuu wa gereza. In Potiphar's house favor found him. Katika nyumba ya Potiphar kibali alipata akawa mwangalizi. In the prison favor found him. Gerezani nako akapata kibali. Favor brings promotion. Kibali kinaleta kuinuliwa. When you are favored. Unapopendelewa na kupata kibali. God will call in your office to promote Mungu you. Mungu anavunja taratibu za ofisi na wanakuinua na kupandisha. Haijalishi nani iko kinyume chako. Unachotakiwa wewe ni kupata tu kibali cha Mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Number three. Favor facilitate miracle marriages. Kibali kinaharakisha shuhuda za ndoa. The summary of marriage is favor. Ujumla wa ndoa ni kibali tu. It is not about your build up, your body build up. Swala sio umeumbwa unafiga gani una uzuri gani. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. Proverbs 18 verse 22. He that find it a wife. Yeye find it a good thing and obtain it for God. Apata kitu chema na mipata kibali toka kwa buwana. How did Esther got married? Esther alipata jendoa. In, in Esther chapter 2 verse 7. Esther mbili saba. Esther chapter 2 verse 7. Esther mbili saba. Look at what the scripture say concerning Esther. Ona andiko na vusema kusena Esther. And they brought her Esther. That is Esther. His uncle doctor. She had neither. He had no father or mother. She was a maid. Esther so alikuwa yatima hakuwa na baba wala mama alikuwa anaishi na mjomba wake. That was the foundation of Esther. Huo ndio kwa msingi wa Esther. And in verse 15. Stari wa 15 verse 15 to 17. 15 17. When the turn of Esther came. Ilipofika zamu ya Esther. To see the king. Ya kumuona mfalme. They brought him. Wakamleta. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you see what the Bible say. Ona Biblia inachosema. That Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that look upon her. She obtained favor. Esa akapata kibali mbele ya wote walio alipata kibali machoni pa wote walio muona. And that was why she was chosen above other women. Ndio maana akachaguliwa wengine wote wakaachwa. It is a favor of God that facilitated. Ni kibali kinachomfanya mtu kuoa kuolewa. Young lady. Vijana wa kike wa kiume. Instead of investing in things that will not bring favor connect yourself to the favor Badala of God. kuwekeza kwenye vitu ambavyo havita kuletea kibali jiungamanishe na kibali cha Mungu. Instead of putting foundation, putting with all, putting the put on God and favor will answer. Badala kuweka hizo foundation na mawigi ya kiblazi na yote, weka kibali. You, know, you, you use your time to, to 
to pursue things that does not have value to your life. Tumi unatumia muda mwingi kufukuzia vitu ambavyo havileti thamani katika maisha yako. If you don't want to be frustrated tomorrow, put on God. Utaki kuchanganyikiwa kesho mvae Mungu. You'll be smelling favor. Utanukia kibari. Somebody shout hallelujah. Faza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Faza hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Faza hallelujah. But how do I provoke favor? Sasa ninachochaje hicho kibari? Ten keys to provoking divine favor. Ziko funguo kuu. This service I will look at Five or six. Ibada hii tangaria tano. Thank you. Pay attention to it. Ziskize kwa makini. Because every divine provision have a human obligation. Kwa sabu kila ugavi wa kiungu unawakibu wa mananda. Apart from favor of salvation. Mbali na kibari cha wako. Every other favor is at a cost. Kila kibari kingine chukata kina garama. Hear me again. Apart from favor of salvation. Mbali na kuokoka kwa ukondelewe. Every other favor is at a cost. Kila kibari kingine chukata kina garama. Favor is provoke. Kibari unakichochea. Somebody shout hallelujah. Faza hallelujah. And what do I do to provoke the favor of God? Nifanye nini ili kuchochea kibari cha kiungu moja? Rise standing with God. Kaa sawa na mungu. Living a life that pleases God. Not just being born again. Kuishi maisha kumpendeza mungu. Sio tu kukoka. But living a righteous life. Ishi maisha ya haki. Having a right standing with God. Kaa vizuri na mungu. Dears God to you. Hilo lina leta mema kwa mungu. Psalm 5 verse 12. Where we read it. Zabuli tano. In our court to worship. He said that God will bless the righteous. Not everybody. We buwana tabariki mwenye haki. Sio kila mtu. And with favor will that compass him as with the sheep. Na kwa radhi yako tawazungushia kama ngao. Not everyone in church. Church is in right standing with si God. And they miss the mungu. favor of God. Na wanakosa God mungu. will bless the righteous with favor. Mungu atawabariki wenye haki kwa kibari. Living to please God at last the favor of God. Kuishi kwa kumpendeza mungu kuna vutia kibari cha mungu. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 2. Methali kuminambili. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 2. Methali kuminambili mbili. A good man alternate favor. Mtu muema hujipatia kibari kutoka kwa buwana. But a wicked man devices he condemns. Bari muovu ata hukumiwa. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 10. Isaiah chapter 10. Turn, say to the righteous. Wambieni wenye haki. It shall be well. Itakuwa heri. It shall be well with him. Itakuwa heri kwao. And they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Na watakula matunda ya matendoya. Verse 11 say, but say to the wicked. Mwaya kumina mbila na sema, wambie waovu. He say, woe unto the wicked. Ole wa waovu. And it shall be ill with him. Kwao itakuwa ni mabaya tu. For the reward of his hand shall be given to him. Kwa sababu hasira mkono wake. If you want it to be well with him. Atapewa ijara mkono If you want to be favored. Unataka kupendeleo. Please live to please God. Ishi maisha masafi ya kumpendeza mungu. Always ask God. Siku zote muulize mungu. To if correct you and be ready to take the correction. Na hata akikurekebisha akikuonya ukubari kupokea maunyo. Always have a desire to please God. Siku zote wena tamaniyo la kumpendeza mungu. You have everything to gain. Una kila kitu cha kupata. Somebody shout hallelujah. Faza hallelujah. And this thing is of the heart. Na hae mambo, nini andani moyoni. In my experience as a pastor these few years. Ni meona kama mchungaji miaka imi chachi. I know I just find out that it is not on the looks. Ni kagundua kwa mba suwala siyo muonekano. There are people that look so righteous. Kuna wengine wanonekana wapole kama watakatifu. But they are devil inside. Ndani yao ni ibilisi. There are people who maybe look so vulgar. Lakini kuna wengine wanonekana kama wanye majivuno, wakari. This one have a right standing with me. Lakini huyu na mkuta mwenye haki na mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kwaza hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Yes, kia hallelujah. And not, I've seen people, have, we have seen things as a pastor. Tumaona mambo kama wachungani. You can see somebody running around doing everything. Unaanza, unamona mtu na kibia ukono kuna fanya kila kitu. But it's a devil inside. Lakini ndani yake ni ibilisi. Hallelujah. Walking in all form of atrocities. Anafanya kila na mna mabaya na maovu. And there are people, people put off. Na kuna hatu wengine ambao, wengine wanawati. So this one is not even dedicated. Anasema, uyo. It's not even this and that. Uyo, uyo ko hivi, uyo ko hivi, mchafu. Uyo, uyo ko hivi. And there's a people that their heart is to work. Na hao, ndio. Mungu na wataka. I've seen people running, praying with us, doing everything, but they are the ones standing against the church. Ni meona watu anaomba kwa nguvu wako pamoja nasa kindi walio kinyume na kanisa. It is not on looks. Swala siyo monekani. It's all about her connection. Ishi ni moyo. Strive to please God. Jitahidi kumpendeza mungu. Somebody sang a hymn. Kuna mtu aliimba tenzi. My songs every day. Father, draw me near my heart. Wanangu kila siku, baba ni karibie kila siku, mungu wana nivuta kila siku. Niwe karibu na wewe, niwe karibu na wewe. Oh, my sons every day, 
Father, Dominava, you are Caribuna, Dominava, Niava to thee. That should be your song, that should be your desire. When he draw you near any mistake, anything, he will correct you. Why standing with God? You know, why did Noah obtain favor? In Genesis chapter 6, verse 7 to 9, among all the things God created, God said I will destroy everything. And I repented me that I have made this thing. Verse 8. And Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And verse 9. And these are the generation of Noah. Noah was a just man. Noah perfect in his generation. Noah walked with God. That, that was, was the difference. People of God sinned. And hypocrisy, a lot of hypocrisy in the church. Take things away from you. I must tell you the truth. That's why. We are here to tell you. Man, you know, if, if you read uh, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25, look at what the scripture says. There are things you don't they say, look at it. Look at it if you have uh, on the screen. He say your iniquities have torn away these things. Oh God, I want to marry. Mungu oh nataka kuona, nataka kuolewa, nataka kazi. Bwana nataka kuinuliwa. Lakini unafanya kila namna hiyo. Unamwomba Mungu nataka kuoa. And you came to church this morning with in a house of a man that is not your Lakini hapa kanisani leo umekuja umetokea kwenye nyumba kwa mwanaume ambaye sio mume wako. Why are you praying for another husband? Kwani unamwombea mume mwingine? When you are giving yourself a Tayari umeshajitafutia wako wako. Praise the Lord. Maybe from the, your, your boyfriend's house you came to this church. The Bible says that these things, your iniquities, have torn away your iniquities. Put back that scripture for me. Put back that scripture. Your iniquities have torn away these things. Your sins are withholding good things for you. Faithful is good. Your sins with hold good things from you. It is not the devil. There are no sort of things. It's not the devil holding you. If you can leave your old life, you can leave them behind. You will see the hand of God upon you. You have to leave those malice. Those fornications and that sort of things. You have been doing this for years. And you have not added anything to your life. Why not do another thing? Why not live in a virtuous side? And compare two of them. If the former one is better. Since you have been living, lying, all those things, and nothing has changed. This thing will hold good things for you. Your sins are withholding good things for you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout, he began hallelujah. hallelujah. Number two. B. Let me run now. Number two. B. Consistent expectation. Ya That's another key to provoke in favor. Consistent expectation. Endelea Proverbs 27 verse 18 says, Surely there is an end and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Proverbs 24 verse 14. Say that the desires of the righteous shall be granted. What you don't expect in this kingdom, you will not experience. You have to wake up every morning expecting kila favor. Don't wake up every morning expecting favor. Don't wake up every morning expecting favor. Don't expect misfortune and rejection. Because without expectation, there won't be manifestation. Most of the time, we hold God responsible that we came to church or in a day with nothing happens to us. But God will not do beyond your expectation. That's why we come up every morning expecting good, expecting blessing. Expecting Johnny Messi, expecting Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
when you expect favor, you will experience favor. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Expect miracle marriage. Don't base, on your, don't base your expectation. Don't tie your expectation to what is happening. Tie it to what is written. Let the, fund, let the word be the foundation of your expectation. Expect to get married this year. Expect to get married this year. Expect, Expect to, to finish that house this year. And before you can know it, you see it happen. Like play, like play, like play. Like the dream of the night. Const Consistent expectation. Matarajia, endelea kutarajia. Number three. Tatu. Number three. Tatu. Love for God and the church. Kumpenda mungu na kanisa lake. To salaki. provoke favor. Kupata kibari. You must love God and his church. Mpende mungu na kanisa lake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First King chapter 3 verse 7. Ofama kwanza tatu tatu. The foundation of favor Solomon enjoyed was Solomon loved the Lord. Msingi wa kibari wa chopata Suleman ilikuwa ni kumpenda mungu. Solomon loved the Lord. And if your name is mentioned there that you love the Lord, you will enjoy the same kind of favor. Somebody shout hallelujah. And now hear me a bigger hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. The more you love God, and the more you will have to love the Lord. The more you love God, and the more you will have to love the Lord. The more you love God, and the more you will have to love the Lord. The more you love God, and the more you will have to love the Lord. The more you love God, and the more you will have to love the Lord. Mungu anapenda wote lakini Mungu ananipendelea mimi anapendezwa na mimi. Shina na nende. Anasema Mungu amefanya yote kwa sababu ananipendelea mimi. Alimchagua Daudi. Akamfanya kuwa mfalme kwa sababu alipendezwa naye. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza hallelujah. People of God love God. Watu wa Mungu mpende Mungu. And our love for God is not na upendo wetu kwa mungu siwa wa maneno, siwa kinadharia ni upendo wa kimatendo ni upendo wenye ushahidi and our love for God must be proved by our heart for his kingdom and advancement of his kingdom na upendo wetu lazima upudhihirishwe kwa matendo tunafanya katika ufalume wake na katika nyumba yake somebody shout hallelujah our love for souls upendo wetu wakuona watu wanaokoka is a capital proof ndiyo udhihirisho namba moja wa kwamba tunampenda Mungu na hilo ndio linatuleta katika kiwango cha upendeleo na Mungu Yohana 21:17 to Yohana 21:17 15:17 Lovers than me more than this. Akawambia Simon Petro je wanipenda kuliko hawa. Akasema na kupenda buwana. Kama na nipenda. Lisha kondo wangu. Akamambia malapina malata. Kama unanipenda. Nithibitishie kwa kwenda kushudia wengine wa okoke. Wakulita kwanza mbili tisa nasema. Macho ya jauna. Mbili tisa wakulita kwanza. Kama ilivu andikwa. Macho ya jauna. Wala sikia wa jasikia. Haidi ya ingia katika moyo mwanadamu. Yala ambao mungu wa mewandalia wale wa mpenda. As we favor the advancement and enlargement of the kingdom, we are brought into the realm of fearful favor. Hapo tunaingia katika kiwango cha ufalme wa mungu. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 To favor Zion. Yeah, the set time. We are in the set time of favor. But for that to happen, he said, "For thy servant take a pleasure." Man, at whom you are going to reveal and favor the doors. You must favor the righteous cause. If it was a joyful favor, many people who the things of God does not touch them. They will miss the favor of God. And you cannot marry without the favor of God. You cannot be a job without the favor of God. You cannot be promoted without the favor of God. That's why it is wisdom to love God. By going after what He loves. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know we quote verse twelve and we leave verse fourteen. Like we have to have favor upon me. 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 Like we have to have fav
Lazima upendezwe na mambo ya ufalme. Yapendezwa na mambo. Furahia na mambo ya ufalme wa Mungu. One secret to the events of fearful fever. Siri nyingine ya kupata kibali cha kutisha. Fearful dimension of fever. Kiwango cha kibali cha kutisha. Is to remain committed to kingdom advancement. Ni kubaki umnawajibika unajituma katika mambo ya ufalme wa Mungu. Zaburi 35:27. Let them shout for joy. Let them be glad that favor the righteous cause. Washangilie na kufurahi wapendezwa wao na haki yangu. Favor the righteous cause. Wapendezwa wao na haki yangu. Let them say continue let God be man. Naam waseme daima atukuzo bwana. Which has pleasure in the prosperity of the Apendezwa na amani ya mtumishi wake. Love God. And love what God loves. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Number four. Ne. I will take another two and I will, I will be on the be two. is to provoke favor. Ili kibali, you must be humble. You must be humble. Uwe Pride makes God to put you off. Kiburi kinamfanya Mungu akutenge kando. Many people, many people suffer this favor in life. Watu wengi hawapendwi na watu maishani. Because of pride. Kwa sababu ya kiburi. Many people discover that you are proud. Watu wakishagundua una kiburi na majivuno. They will not help you. Hawatakusaidia kamwe. They will not even pride will make you not to appreciate what they have done in the past. Kiburi kitafanya hata usishukuru waliokutendea nyuma. Pride will even make you not to appreciate God. Kiburi kitakufanya usimshukuru Mungu. And when you don't appreciate God you depreciate. Na usipomshukuru Mungu utashuka tu. That's why you must walk in humility. Ndio maana lazima uwe mnyenyekevu. Somebody give you 10000 shillings. Mtu amekupa 10000. Even before you open it. Hata kabla hujafungua kujua ni shilingi gani. You are thanking God. Unamshukuru Mungu. But a proud person say what is this? Lakini mwenye kiburi anasema sasa hii nini? And you will never give up give up and you will not get another one. Kama hatapata nyingine tena. Humility. Unyenyekevu. John chapter 4 verse 6. Yakobo 4:10. The Bible says, "Humble yourself." Nekumi, sorry. In the sight of the Lord. And he shall lift you up. <laughs> he will lift you up when you humble yourself. Jidhilini mbele za Bwana naye atawatukuza. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6. Petro wa kwanza 5:6. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6. Petro wa kwanza 5:6. He says, "Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God. Chini ya mkono wa Mungu ulio hodari. That he may exalt you in due time. Ili awakweze kwa wakati wake. God, if you don't walk in humility, Watu you will not Usipotembea kwa unyenyekevu hautapata kibali. And you know a humble person does not hang around a proud person. Nyenyekevu haendani na mwenye kiburi au majivuno. Even pride will make you when you need help, you you will be too big to ask for help. Kiburi kitakufanya hata pale unapohitaji msaada utajifanya uhitaji. Many people are not serving not because they don't because of pride. Watu wengi hawamtumiki Mungu sio kwa sababu hawawezi bali kiburi. How can people see me on the way carrying handbill? Watu watanionaje mimi barabarani mebeba vipeperushi? How can they see me praying? Watanionaje mimi naomba? They are on top of everybody. Wao wanajiona wako juu ya kila mtu. They are number 1 in church. Every other person is a small boy. Wao ndio namba 1 kanisani wengine wote ni wadogo wadogo. I can't join small people to pray. Siwezi kuungana na watu wadogo wadogo kuomba. And the person remains poor. Na huyu atabaki mdogo hivyo hivyo. Over Robert Moda told over Robert. Mama or Robert akamwambia or Robert. He said over akaambia ora God is going to use you mightly Mungu atakutumia sana but always remain small in your eyes Lakini siku zote baki mdogo machoni pako Humility means remaining small in your eyes Unyenyekevu manake kujiona mdogo machoni pako Hata watu wanapokuita mkuu anakukweza wewe jione mdogo If God must exalt you Kama unataka Mungu atukuzwe Somebody shout hallelujah Haza hallelujah You know some people are too big to be lifted by God Unajua watu wengine ni wakubwa sana kiasi Mungu hawezi kuwainua A little money that entered your hand have entered your head Pesa kidogo tu aliyeshika mikono tayari ilishapanda kichwa Somebody shout hallelujah Haza hallelujah their head is too big now. Tali vicho vikubwa. To be corrected. Ataki kukulekebishwa. To be instructed. Hawezi kuelekezwa. To be advised. Hawezi kushauriwa. And they don't know that they are heading to this world. Hajui kama na anaelekea maanguko. That will not be your story. Hilo haita kwa fungu lako. And finally. Mwishu. Spiritual level. Kazi ya kiroho. If you want to. If you want. To. To. Unataka kuchochea kibali. Spiritual level here connote prayer and fasting. Kazi ya kiroho maana yake ni maombi na kufunga. Because favor can be prayed for. 
Kibari unaweza kukiomba na kukipata. Zaburi 119:18 Hasana na likiomba kibari chako. Kwa moyo wangu wote. To intuit means to pray. Ni maana yake ni kuomba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who pray does not lack favor. It's not that Wale they are praying for favor. Hawakosi kibari. When you pray you might not be praying for favor. Umekuwa uombei kibari. But there is a way prayer destroy every form of spells and misfortune around you. Lakini kuna namna ambavyo katika tu kuomba hata kama uombei kibari. You might be for. Maombi yanaondoa uko kukataliwa na kuto na kutopata upendeleo. Maombi ya namna hiyo inakufanya wewe upendeleo upate kibari. In Esther chapter 4 verse 16 and 17. Esther 4 verse 16 and 17. There was a challenge. And Esther fasted and prayed. Esther akafunga na kuomba. And in, in Esther chapter 5. Esther 5. Esther obtained favor. Esther kapata kibari. The king was asking Queen Esther, what is your request? Mfalme kana muuliza Esther una ombi gani? And everything was handled on the altar of prayer and fasting. Na kila kitu ulikuwa umeshakishughulikia katika kufunga na kuomba. You are missing a lot if you are not praying. Unakosa mengi kama huombi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Asa hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Asa hallelujah. Live a lifestyle of prayer. Ishi maisha maombi. Live a lifestyle of prayer. Ishi maisha maombi. Funga. Fast. Fast now and pray. Funga tena na tena na fast and pray before it's late. Vijana omba kabla hujachelewa. Now they will be deceiving you. Sasa hivi na kudanganya. Say there is a solution here. Nakwambia hapa kuna kuna majibu. Kuna majibu. Your lady fast and pray now. Wadada omba sasa hivi. There is a age you will reach you will be frustrated. Itafika umri utafika utachanganyikiwa. Do it now and get married as Fanya sasa hivi na uolewe sasa hivi. Do it now and get job as you desire. Fanya sasa hivi na upate kazi yako sasa hivi. Instead of wasting your time making head and printing mouth and all. Badala ya kupiga na kuchola chola midomo na na Take what belongs to you on the altar of prayer now. Chukua kila ambacho ni chako katika madhabahu ya maombi. You will live to be, you will live to enjoy it tomorrow. Utaishi kufurahia kesho. Stand up on your feet. Simam. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody bless shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody bless shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, it is your season of favor. Ni majira yako ya kibari. It is your season of favor. Ni majira yako ya kibari. It is your season of favor. Ni majira yako ya kibari. Let us turn to Jesus Christ. Kwa mikono yako kwa Yesu. Ah, la katosha kabwa ya baba, kutia baba li katili ya baba. Elia bwa katoshia kalia balia bandolo boshia O la katelia baba baba balia balia baba Thank you Jesus Asante Yesu I mention few now Nimetaja machache sasa hivi about 10 of them Ibada ya pili nitataja mengine And so important Nani ya muhimu sana But one of the agent of favor is the communion Moja wakala wa kibari ni ushirika mtakatifu. Yesu yeye mwenye ndiye kibari. It was favor galore all to his earthly ministry. Wakati wote wa huduma yake hapa duniani alikuwa amejaa wa kibari. And you need that favor. Unahitaji hicho kibari. And that's why the communion is here. Ndio maana ushirika mtakatifu kwa hapa subia. And I know that every form of misfortune. Na najua kila mikosi na bahati mbaya. There are many people here everywhere you go they reject you. Kuna watu wengine kila unapokwenda ni wakukataliwa tu. Things that text people just an hour to get it will take you days kitu kinachoangalia mwingine saa moja tu kukipata wewe utatumia majuma kadha it is not normal si kawaida something is wrong somewhere. kuna kitu hakiko sawa mahali and the blood is here this morning na damu ya Yesu kwa hapa subia leo revelation chapter 11 verse 12 ufunuo 12 verse 12 kumina, mo, kumina mbili, kumina we tulimshinda kwa damu ya mwana kondoo by the word of our testimony na kwa neno la ushuhuda somebody shout hallelujah Faza hallelujah I took time to talk about favor. Do I have... muda kuongelea kusema kibaya. I, I didn't rush it. I, I just used my time. Nimetumia muda wa kutosha. Because it is important. Kwa sababu ni muhimu. When favor is with you, your prayer for yourself reduces. Kibari kinapokuwa juu yako, maombi yako binafsi yanapungua. I am where I am today in this commission by his favor. Niko hapa nilipo leo kwa kibali chake tu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Right Tangu siku ya kwanza nilipoingia uchungaji ilikuwa kibaya. Ni kibaya. From one place to another. Kutoka sehemu moja mpaka nyingine. From one community to another. Kutoka jamii moja hadi nyingine. It has been favor. Ni kibaya. And everything it tests. Na kila kinachohitajika. To provoke favor. Kuchochea kibaya. Please do it. Tafadhali fanya. You will you will rejo you will rejoice. Utafurahia katika hilo. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. And I decree. Na natamka. 
It is your season of favor. Ni majira yako ya kibari. And not hearing a faithful amen. Sijasikia amen. Lift up your voice again and thank him. Inua sauti yako na tumshukuru. We'll be praying now, but before we do that. Tutaomba lakini kabla tuyafanya hivyo. You can assess the favor of God. Uwezi kupata kibali cha Mungu. Even you can assess divine guidance. Uwezi kupata uongozi wa kiungo. If you are not born again. Kama hujaokoka. If you are not born again. Somebody is here who want to surrender to Jesus. Wewe uliyeko hapo unataka kuokoka. Because remember where I read. Kumbuka niliposoma. Jeremiah 5 verse 25. Yeremia 5:25. I don't want this. God sent me here to tell you the truth and what truth from the word of God. Mungu amenituma hapa ni kuambie ukweli kutoka kwenye neno la Mungu. To see you bless. Na kuhakikisha kwamba unabarikiwa. And bless heaven with no rest. Na usipobariki mpaka ubarikiwe vinginevyo mbingu haitatulia. I keep on talking to you I keep on giving you opportunity. Nitaendelea kusema na wewe na kukupa fursa. Because the word of God is here and amen. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu ni ndio na niamina. You see your iniquity turns a lot of things away from you. Maovu yenu yameyageuza haya. Your sins with hold dhambi zenu zimeashikilia zimewazuilia msiyapate mema lakini unaweza kuishughulikia hiyo dhambi sasa hivi kwa kumpa Yesu maisha yako kwa kuokoka mtu yuko hapa ambaye anataka kuokoka na utaona kibali wiki hii kuliko ulivyokuwa uko hapa unataka kuweka wako maisha yako umeichoka kuishi maisha ya unafiki Righteous in church and outside the church and other things. Kanisani mtakatifu nje kitu kingine. You want to rededicate your life. Unataka kutengeneza, uliokoka ukarudi nyuma unajua kabisa maisha yako unaishi sio. Put your hand on your chest. Weka mkono wako kwa kulia kifuani. Put your hand on your chest. Let me pray for you. Weka mkono wako kwa kulia kifuani. You want to surrender to Jesus. Unataka kumpa Yesu maisha yako. You want to rededicate your life. Unataka kutengeneza na Mungu. Come let me pray for you. Njoo mbele nikuombe. Come let me pray for you. Njoo mbele nikuombe. Huja ukoka kabisa unataka kuokoka? Uliokoka umerudi nyuma. Unajua maisha yako unayoishi sio ya kimungu tena. Njoo mbele. Clap your hands for Jesus. Pige Yesu makofi wanapokuja. You want to be dedicated, you want to surrender. Come. Nataka kuweka wakfu maisha yako. Njoo mbele. Come and join this body. Njoo mbele ungana na hawa ndugu hapa. Njoo mbele. Stand here clapping only. Come. Simame na kupiga makofi tu. Njoo mbele. Unasikia kabisa ni wewe njoo mbele. Maisha yako yatabadilika. Jesus is calling you. Njoo mbele. Jesus is calling you. Yesu anakuita. Oh makata shulia katala ba. Don't stand there. You know it. You know it. You know it. Come. Unajua kabisa ujaokoka. Uliokoka ukarudi nyuma. Unajua maisha yako ya sirini ya ndani. Njoo mbele na maisha yako Mungu atabadilisha. Asante Yesu. Unakuja bado nataka kuja njoo mbele. Rudi ya maneno haya sema Bwana Yesu. I come to you this morning. Ninakuja kwako asubuhi ya leo. I know I am a sinner. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Forgive me my sins. Nisamehe dhambi zangu zote. Wash me by your blood. Nioshe kwa damu yako. Today. Leo I receive you. Ninakupokea. As my Lord. Kama Bwana. I'm personal savior. Na mwokozi wangu. Come and take over my life. Jo na utamalaki maisha ni mwangu. I declare today. Natamka leo. I, I am now born again. Sasa nimeokoka. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. You are blessed. Umebarikiwa. Father thank you for this souls you Baba, said. Baba kwa zilizoko. Let the grace that saved them be with them. Neema iliyowako iwe pamoja nao. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Ninawafunika kwa damu ya Yesu. They remain covered. Watabaki wamefunikwa. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Congratulations. Hongera sana. Follow our church officials. Nenda na hao wahudumu. Everyone you are going to pray now. Kila moja tunakwenda kuomba sasa. You are connecting to God's favor through this communion. Unakwenda kujiunga maanisha na kibali cha Mungu kupitia ushirika huu mtakatifu. And you are standing against every form of misfortune. Na unasimama kinyume na kila mikosi na bahati mbaya. Things are not working the way supposed to work. Mambo hayaendi vile yanavyotakiwa yaende. Business is stagnated because Biashara yako imeduma haiendi kila kitu akiendi What others get freely you must suffer before you get Vile ambavyo wengine wanapata bure wewe lazima utoke jasho ulie ili uvipate Walking like 
an elephant but eating like an Unafanya ant. kazi kuliko wengine wote lakini huna cha kuonyesha. Hizi ni ishara za mikosi bahati mbaya. But the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Lakini mwili na damu ya Yesu is here today to tackle them. Viko hapa kuyashughulikia hayo. Lift up your voice and begin to do. Inua sauti yako na uanze kutaka sasa. Let the community see what come. Wahudumu sasa. Let the community see what come. Oh yala baba kante shulia baba kati shulia baba. Is somebody praying is here a way to pray anyone that Omba. is in favor? Omba wewe unataka kibaya ni ombe ya kibaya. You are not oh, momo wewe you are praying. Praying like somebody that is expected. Omba kama yule anayetaka kibaya. Praying like somebody that need it now. Omba kama yule anayetaka kibaya. Praying like somebody that must be visited. Omba kama yule anayetaka kibaya. Every form of misfortune. Kila namna ya mabaya. It is over today. Yamekwisha leo. 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 It is over today. Oh shakabalika tu shakabalika toli aba I connect to divine favor today. Is somebody connected? Is somebody connected? To the virtues oh in this communion. Is somebody connected? Is somebody connected? Oh yakateke to shakabalia babalia ba. Alia katoli aba baliba katoli aba laba. The shua kito balande ketoli aba laba. Ashi keteke te kalaba shuli aba laba. Obeketo shaka vali ya baba la baba la baba ba ayoli ya baba kato shaka toli ya baba obeketo shaka ba la katolia is somebody every form of with fortune are you cancelling by the blood you are by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony hey keto shaka ba oh that stagnation is over that stagnation is over as you partake of the blood. As you partake of your flesh, receive now that favor, that favor you desire, that favor you desire. Receive it, 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 receive it. Ah, ya kubeli ya baba. Oh, break it up. Every sickness, every infirmity is caused. Every, oh, terminal disease is terminated. Oh, break it to shaka bali ya ba. Ayoli ya baba, laka toke toli ya ba. Oh, break it to shika, brali ya baba. Ayoli ya baba la katoko toli ya ba Ayoli ya baba katoko toli ya ba la ba Leko shaka ba Endelea kuomba Endelea kuomba Jesus by the power in the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Let every misfortune be destroyed. Launch your people into the realm of divine favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Launch your people. Wapati watu wako kibari na upedeleo. Leko teko topo alanda kada. Ashulia baba la braka tole ya balaba. Ilia baba 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 baba. Lakoteli aba, any sickness that followed you, I begin to cause it. As I partake of this communion, lose me and let me go. Hey, break it up! The shua kiata, ayoli ababa, ayoli ababa, le bakuti, eke toshi kalaba, ayoli ababa, le balabu, le balabu shia kavali aba, ayoli ababa le balaba, ayala mbwa kato, le balabu shia kato le aba, eke teke teke te, eke teke toko to, le balabu shia aba, ali ababa, la kato ke tu shia kavali a, ashuli ababa kato le aba, la kato le aba aba, socially me, in Jesus glorious name. Father, this communion is a communion of connection to divine favor. By this communion, let every form of misfortune, every spell of misfortune and be destroyed in the life of any particular. By this communion, launch your people into the realm of divine favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, divine favor in every area of our lives. And let there be instant healing testimonies. Let there be the deliverance. Let the desires of your people be granted. Via this communion today. I bless it and I call it the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And the same favor that was at work and is still at work in the life of Jesus. Let it be transferred to everyone. Let that spirit of favor come everywhere. That it shall come to pass. Wherever we have been rejected before, they will begin to call us. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. It is blessed. Choir will be singing and you come with your faith. Choir itaiba na ushiriki kwa imani. Take partake of the communion. Ushiriki ushirika umtakatifu kwa imani.
the word you had, the word of God is an agent of heaven. And the communion is an agent of heaven. I want you to begin to command from henceforth everywhere I go faithful. Kila ntaka po kuenda kibari. By your favor, Lord, establish my business. By your favor, Lord, establish my business. Direct me to my God or their spouse. By your favor, cause me to be located. By your favor, Lord, that capital I desire. If people have not been helping you, you need a favor of God. Begin to command the favor now. Your favor will answer in my life this week. And all the days of my life, anything called stagnation around me, it is over by this salvation age. Jesus, Lord, the time to favor your people have come. The time to favor them have come. Is somebody commanding favor now? Is somebody commanding favor? Oh, speak it and you will have it. Oh, break it. One of the keys I will share in second service is positive declaration. When you declare it, you will have it. Lift up your voice and pray. I declare favor in my going out and coming in. Oh, break it. 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 Elia Baba Shulia Baba Lande Ketoshi Alaba Laka Toke Toke Tusha Kabaliba Lepo Alaba Alaba All your favor Decimonies await you this week Oh your favor Mi Maku Job await you Your favor Mi Marriage is awaiting you this week Oh every area of your real life Anywhere you have been rejected Oh they will begin to accept you Pray, 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 lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I will come and favor. No more will be fortunate in my life. No more will be fortunate in my life. So shall it be. Somebody shout a louder amen. You know one thing? Favor puts smiles in the faces of the favored. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Favor is divine dash. <laughs> God dashing you something. Maybe that language is not a correct English, but that's what we call dash. <laughs> I don't know how you translate that one. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Just somebody giving you something you don't deserve. Favor unapewa kama. And that's what will happen for you this year. That's what will happen to you this year. Your story will be like the story. Maybe that language is not here. There are something they say. Who dash monkey banana? <laughs> we, we, use, we, we use that language so much. In, like, you know, when people see you riding a car you know, that you are not, they, they will be surprised. Say, who dash monkey banana? They, they don't expect that you can ride a car. When they hear your, your wedding announcement, they say, ah, who dash her? Somebody shout hallelujah. And do you know why that statement is made? You know, monkey lost banana. And monkey is a climber. Na he can climb a tree. Milima kwa namna yo, a miti but he cannot climb a banana stalk. He can climb all the trees. Anaweza kupanda miti yot. But he cannot climb a banana stalk. Hawezi kupanda mgomba. And, and he does not lack banana. Na That's why when people see, say, who dash monkey banana? The way God created him. They have no tree he cannot climb. Hakuna mtu asoweza kupanda ngedele ya unyani. Apapo mbanana. Isipo kuwa mgomba. But despite that he cannot climb banana stone. Lakini pamoja na kuwamba hawezi kupanda mgomba. He does not lack banana. Hako sindizi. Praise the Lord. Buwana asifiri. In other words. Amaneno mengini. It was not his effort that gave him banana. Haikuwa juhudi zake zizo mpatia ndizi. It was God that gave him banana. Ni mungu ndi hali mpatia. He always calls men to bring banana for him. Atafanya watu siku zote mlete ndizi. I'm not here having a bigger human. Yes, we are men. It doesn't matter what your effort cannot give you. God will cause it to happen for you. And people will be surprised. They will not understand how it happened. But they will see it happening in your life. I'm not hearing a louder amen. 
Wave those hands to Jesus. I release you in this service today. And all the days of your life. The favor of God will announce you wherever you go. No, any form of rejection. Today it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you have been rejected. They will begin to accept you from now in the name of Jesus. Before the end of today, you shall receive calls of favor in the name of Jesus. Christ. And I decree that this month of May, a month of liberation, I decree your favor will answer in the name of Jesus. Christ. Your marital favor is established in the name of Jesus. Your financial favor is established in the name of Jesus. In your workplace, it shall be favor and favor. Anyone ganging up against you in your office, by the favor of God, you are replacing that man in that position. Your promotion, nobody will stop it anymore. Your miracle job, nobody will stop it anymore. Anyone sitting on any aspect of your destiny, they are unseated today in the name of Jesus Christ. What you didn't pray for, what you didn't wish for, you will see it in your hand. What you are not qualified for, God will make it happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe they have written you, they have written you off. And say this one. I don't think he will marry. I don't think she will marry. Mm -hmm. Today, your story is changing in the name of Jesus. By the favor of God, your miracle marriage is established in the name of Jesus Christ. By the favor of God, all the finances needed for your wedding shall be provided by God in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, My God shall supply all your needs. I decree the heavens open for you now, and your needs are supplied to you now in the name of Jesus. By the favor of God. Things are turning around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. One woman was told by another woman. He, said, he asked the woman, Have you seen a snake carry a baby? You might not know what in a, a snake. Snake. Snail. Have you seen a snake carry a baby? In other words, I will not live to see you carry your baby. And God heard it. And the favor of God came. And medical challenges was turned around. And the woman carried her baby. It doesn't matter what they have said to you. It doesn't matter what they have said to you. You will carry your baby this year. It doesn't matter what they have said to you. You will carry your baby this year. You will carry your baby this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as you check yourself. Even though you think that you are not pregnant, they will tell you you are three months pregnant. They will tell you you are two months pregnant. God is going to fast forward it for you. But this year, as God has said concerning you, you will carry your children as you desire. I'm not hearing a louder amen. So shall it be. I'm not hearing a loud amen. Yes, amen. By the favor of God upon your life, that debt is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Christ. By the favor of God, anywhere you have gone for interview, the favor of God will locate you. That and that job will be given to you. On this Favor banquet. I declare you favored all the days of your life. This week is your week of favor. God's of favor will come to you. Anywhere you have been rejected, go back there, they will accept you. Somebody that believes it, shout a louder amen. So shall it be. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. And any devil standing against you and your family, 
are destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that is your desire, you might not be qualified for it. But by the favor of God, your desires are granted in Jesus' name. I will hear your testimony this way. Hear this. It doesn't matter what is happening now. God of this commission has visited you. People will hear your testimony. They will not only hear it. They will see your testimony. They will be sharing your testimonies for you. Maybe they are writing you off. Before I leave this land, I will officiate your wedding. Before I leave this land, I will officiate your wedding. By the favor of God, it is done. Anyone that pick it, it will work for you. Somebody say amen. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20 says, Believe Mambo in the Lord God, God and so shall you be established. Believe also in his prophet wake, and so shall you prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you believe in this prophetic word, they will return to you as testimonies. In Jesus' blood. Clap those hands for Jesus. Yes, Christ.